Hello everybody, welcome to this session and uh, today's objective is to see how to uh, run the report for the purchase orders in SAP. So basically uh, what you can see here on my screen right now is the SAP Z access for the purchasing. So you have two options, either you can run it through the purchase order um, uh, navigation or you can run it through the direct click decode. So I'm going to uh, show both the ones. So here purchase order then you have list displays go to list displays and then you have all the standard reports here me 2 l if in case you would like to run by vendor me 2 m if you would like to run by material then you have me 2 n if in case you would like to run by purchase order number and if in case you would like to run by material group or by tracking number you have here and then account assignments also you have uh, so i'm going to use me 2 n uh, basically this is the most widely used or else if in case you would like to check on the basis of vendors then you will use ME2L but I'm going to use at this point of time ME2N for our demonstration purpose okay so here you can see uh, you have scope of the list already best best means here purchase orders usually so it should always be uh, best so you can see here um, now once uh, you have taken the scope of the list next is a plant so here just uh, take your plant and Apart from that, if in case you would like to give some more specific details, you can key in like your material, material group, or if in case you would like to enter your supplying plant. Um, now, apart from that, if in case you'd like to run only for a specific purchase organization, then you can run. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm going to run a very wide search here right now. So I'm just going to execute it. And you can see here, you have got the open purchase orders. Now here you can see this particular purchase order right now, the first one. Here you can see uh, the total ordered quantity was five, but delivered to be delivered and to be invoiced is zero. That means this is completely um, already, uh, this, this particular purchase order is fulfilled. Uh, but the second one uh, here you can see that ordered quantity is 10 but at the same time to be delivered and to be invoiced is 10 each so that means this one is an open uh, purchase order yet so let's see uh, let's try to open up this purchase order once okay so you can see here purchase order history and in the purchase order history you can see so you had this PO for purchase order quantity as 5 and you have already got the receipt of 101 as five quantity and then you have also the invoice uh, receipt done for this particular five quantity so that is also done uh, so as a whole uh, the whole quantities has been received already so you have a delivery schedule okay and then goods receipt is done but uh, you your delivery complete is not yet uh, ticked in that's okay that's fine um, now let's see the second purchase order so here you can see that there is no tab of the purchase order history that means there is no goose receipt is done for this particular uh, purchase order yet and uh, most importantly um, uh, the invoicing and the receipt both are pending as of now all right so I hope uh, now uh, you understood how to run this report now these are standard reports however in real time uh, not many companies they use standard reports they usually go for a customized purchase order reports uh, but this is just for demonstration purpose um, i hope you liked it so um, if in case you have any questions uh, please uh, feel free to add comments like share subscribe thank you so much for watching this video have a great day